welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and always a pleasure to have you with us. We've got a fascinating idea for a puzzle today. It's been recommended to us, Crop Key Counting with a K by Mixo. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to go through the rules now. They're a bit complicated. I will go through them in a moment just before trying to start the puzzle. Um, and first of all, I will quickly counter through the things that we have going on around the channel as always. There is... Um, our Patreon, where you can join us for monthly patron rewards on the first of every month to be entered by the 20th. There is um, also other stuff goes up on Patreon, like my monthly crossword solve, and there's always some extra content there. Simon has been doing some very long Sudoku solves um, that we've decided to make exclusively for Patreon every now and then, uh, just because they're very, very long. Um, and that's great fun. Now, there's also all of our apps. You can get those. One of them is the Domino app, and that would be the one most appropriate to this puzzle. Uh, very popular and on the CTC app. So do check that out. If you haven't got the apps already, there's always some great content there. We've got um, Sven Sudoku Pad, which is just a marvelous resource, and our merch. Check them all out on the links under the video. And uh, there's the books as well. The the ebook should be out by now, he said, question mark. Um, the deluxe edition of the Fog of War ebook, brilliant stuff. Anyway, um, loads of Sudoku content especially, but this is by Mixo, a fantastic recent addition to the setting community. I'm gonna go through the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply, so at least we'll be putting one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. That is assuming I can solve the puzzle. Now, we have to assign each circle or dot in the grid a digit from one to nine. If a digit N is assigned to a circle, that digit must be assigned to exactly N circles in the grid. Digits separated by a black circle have a ratio of one to N, where N is the digit assigned to the circle, you know what's coming now. Digits separated by a white circle have a difference have a difference of n, where n is the digit assigned to the circle. And that's it. There's no given digits. Goodness only knows what is going on in this puzzle. It feels like it's sort of like a counting circles puzzle, but it really isn't. Give it a try if you fancy it. Check the video length maybe to see how hard I found it. I'm expecting it not to be under 45 minutes, is my guess, but you'll be able to tell that straight away. Um, maybe you'll be able to tell how to start it straight away. I am going to start it now. Let's get cracking. So, I think as with counting circles puzzles, we don't know what any of these ratios are at the moment, but let's count the circles. So, what is the best way of counting them? I'm going to count the black ones first. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 in black. I shall just aid memoir that number here, 15 in black, in white. And it would be a huge error to miscount these, I reckon. 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven, eight. I shouldn't have said that, nine, just as I was about to undertake the counting. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, that's right. So, 22, the total of circles is 37. Yes, I shouldn't try and jinx myself by saying what a huge error it would be to miscount them just as I'm counting them and possibly miscounting them. But anyway, I think I've got that right. 37 circles. Okay. Now, just as with a counting circles puzzle, I think that there are, there is a maximum of 45 circles that could be in this puzzle. The maximum n value is 9. If you had 1 times 9, you could get an n of 9. The minimum n value is 1. If you had 
n minus 1. Well, if you had a difference of 1, that would be a value of 1. In fact, the normal value for a white dot. So those are the maxima and minima. And it's worth checking those out. I mean, it says a digit, but it's worth just thinking about that. So there are 45 possible numbers. There are 45 possible circles that could go in the grid. If you had nine with an assigned value of nine, eight with an assigned value of eight. Now I know this number 40, et cetera, et cetera. I know this number 45 because we need the triangular number for nine constantly in Sudoku, any Sudoku with adding up or anything, any maths in it. Because, and we've learned that every row, column and box has the same total, 45, because it's the sum of one to nine. So it's the maximum sum for the number of circles in this puzzle. However, we have just counted them and there are 37. So there are so there are eight of those possible max circles not in the puzzle and they must be disposed in a group which adds up to eight. It's either one one, three threes and four fours that aren't in this puzzle out of the maximum set or it, and there are various two two digit combinations. It could be one set of eights. And I don't know, I don't think we can do that at the moment. What I think we next have to do is to think about the nine nines that must be in the puzzle because nine cannot be one of the contributing digits in a sum of eight. So I think there must be nine circles in this puzzle to which we assign a value of nine. And a moment ago, I thought you could only get that by having a one and a nine on the puzzle. On the, on, the, on the circle, or on the dot, and it would be a black dot. And the more I think about that, the more I think it is right. You can't have a difference of nine because one of the digits would be more than nine. So the trouble is, it doesn't look like it can be right. How can there be nine black dots with a one and nine on them. Oh, maybe there can. My problem with it is I assumed there would be one in every box using the one and nine in that box. And this box doesn't have a circle fully within it. Actually, neither does box one. But they do have this on the border and I suppose this. Yes, okay. Okay, the way I'm now going to look at this, I'm still going to look at it in boxes. This box could have a 1, 9 on a black dot. So could this one, and so could this one. Once any of those boxes has had 1, 9 on a black dot, obviously none of the other black dots can have both 1 and 9 on. So the maximum number for each of those boxes of a black dot to which we can assign the digit 9 is 1. 1 there, 1 there, 1 here. One there, one there, one there, I mean. That's five. One here somewhere, that's six. Now, we've still got these three boxes left. And we have to assign the value nine to at least three more digits, three more dots, black dots. And I say at least because if any of the black dots dots that we looked at before, if any of the boxes didn't have one nine, we'd need, oh, that was not what I was trying to do, we'd need yet another one. Sorry, I was trying to, um, what, I, what I should be doing is making these non-yellow. Sorry, this was meant to be helpful and instead I've just got stuck doing things. So I think we need three more values of nine amongst these black dots. And I think this cell has to be involved. Well, these digit, we can only use four more instances of digits one and nine in these boxes. We could use a one and a nine in this box somewhere, but then these are gonna have to be a one and a nine. Okay, I'm gonna assume this is another Sherlock Holmes thing. Once you've ruled out the impossible, whatever remains, however unlikely, must be the truth. So there is one of our, let's 
tick it off in some way. Um, right, let's make nines pink X's on the dots. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but I've put a pink X on that black dot. Now, we still need two more in the yellow section. In fact, let's remove that from being yellow. This can be one. Ah, and this can be one. I was assuming all the time that this would be a one nine black dot, but that would use up too many one nines in ones and nines in this box. So this is the other one. Yes, okay, now we can get to the right number because, oh, sorry, I should have kept that colored. That is a one nine as well. This is how we do it. And we X that. Now we look with those by disposing those four one nines there, we managed to get three black circles assigned the value of one or nine. Now, where are the other circles? One is they're in the other six boxes where there's allowed where they are allowed. So one is there, one is there. Now in the other three bo four boxes, here here, here, and here. I don't know which of the black dots we're putting one and nine on. I can put in definite one nines there. Now I can put them definitely in here as well. Um, ah, now those two can't be a one nine pair because that, oh, because both of those, right, none of these cells in this row can be one or nine because both of them are placed. I knew there must be a one or nine here because either that pair is a one nine or that pair. So that is gonna have to be where the other one nine goes. It's this black dot down here. I can X those, those black dots. And now I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven assigned one nines. I know this is not a one nine because there's a pair of them in row four. This is definitely the right way to start this puzzle, I'm delighted to say. Now up here, ah, I know that neither vertical dot is a one nine because that would create three one nines in its respective column. So it's the horizontal dot that is having the one nine pair and gets the ninth one nine pink X. And there, we have started the puzzle. Can I finish off one nines in the grid? I've got two of them in every box except for box one and box four. Yes, I'm gonna to have to put one of them here. In fact, I need column two needs two more. And in any row where one nine already appear, we know there can't be one. So these are the remaining one nines in the puzzle. I could potentially color them, but I well, you've just got this pair. No, I mean, there. I, I couldn't colour the whole grid against each other, so I'm not going to do that. Now, here comes the next big question that I've been putting off for a while. Can we next have eight in the puzzle? And by which I mean eight eights as dots. Eight dots to which the value eight is assigned. Now, that could either be a one and an eight multiplying, sorry, you, you divide eight by one and you get eight. So that would be the ratio, the black dot. If you had eight on a black dot, it would be a one eight black dot. Or eight on a white dot would be a one nine white dot. Now we've placed all the one nines in the grid and there is no instance in which they are both sides of the same white dot. So there cannot be any white dots to which we can assign an eight. I don't think there are eight black dots remaining. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we definitely can't assign eights to black dots. And therefore eight does not get assigned to any dot in this puzzle. Eight is the missing digit. And we now know that the total of 37 dots in the puzzle is made up by nine nines, um, seven sevens, six sixes, five fives, four fours, three threes, two twos, and one one. 
and I'm wondering how on earth I'm going to keep track of them. I think all I can do is plunge in from the top and look at sevens. Now, a black dot seven is, has got one and seven on it. That's the only way to have a ratio of seven. A white dot seven, ah, a white dot seven is either nine two with a difference of seven or eight one. And you'll notice about those pairs that they always use a one or a nine. So anything which doesn't have any of these one nines in the grid placed on them cannot be a white dot seven like all of those and that dot and that dot and those. None of these can be white dot sevens and that's an awful lot. Okay, how many actually can be white dot sevens? That's more the way to look at it. Um, okay, I'm going to give these an orange circle. Is a circle going to show up? Oh, there is no such thing as a circle in between cells. Um, okay, I'm going to give them an orange X. And I'm doing that for anything which has already got a 1 or a 9 on a white dot. And there seem to be four of them. Can't find any others. So those four circles could be assigned the value of 7. Now the other circles that could be assigned the value of 7 are black dots, which might already have a 1 on. And those include this one, this one, and either one, but not both, of these in box 3. And these must all, these orange X's, these must all be sevens. And the seventh one is going to be up here somewhere. And it's going to be one on top of a seven. And that is how we make up our seven sevens. So this is a black dot. That is seven one. Um, this is a black dot. That is seven one. Now that is going to sort out some of our one nine cells. That one is looking at these two. Those become ones. That's a nine. That's a one, nine, one. We get digits in the grid at this stage of the puzzle. I don't think I can resolve that little X wing of one nines until I know where the seven is. OK, what else is going on now? We've got these white seven assigned orange X's. So one goes with eight there, nine goes with two, one goes with eight. And we've, apart from the one remaining of those, we've now assigned all our nines and all our sevens. Thank you to Sven for your marvelous software that lets me actually cross off these dots. Because without that, this would be very hard to play in the puzzle. So thank you, Sven, as always. Oh, this is a what this is a this is a white dot seven as well. So that is either two or eight. Um, this is either a two nine or an eight one dot. I'd missed that. Now what's going on up here? Whichever of these black dots isn't the one seven has got a nine on it that can't go with a one. The only div digit divisible by nine that isn't one or nine is a three. So that actually is a seven three pair. And that is going to be one of our black dots here is going to become assigned a value of three for a nine three ratio. And this white dot is going to be assigned a value of four. Now, I don't have a way of pencil marking that at the moment. And I didn't really want to move on to seven, to, to fours and threes. I want to kind of go down through sixes and fives, don't I? Well, we've got two black dots left after knowing that one of these is a nine, uh, sorry, a seven, and one of them is a three. We've got these two. They can't be one and six or one and five so they don't have an assigned value of six or five which are going to be the difficult ones to fit in so they're either they've got an assigned value of four three or two it won't be one on a black dot or you'd get the same digits either side of it i don't really want to go into that yet i don't think 
either of them can have an assigned value of 3 and I'm wrong. This could be 6 too. Okay, forget that. Let's look for the 6s. So, 6 has to have a white dot if it can't have a black one in this puzzle anymore. And that's true. 6 on a white dot, it's either going to be 1, 7, 9, 3 or 2, 8. So, let's come up with another colour. Let's do a blue for 6. I don't know why. And find out which dots... Which dots could be 1, 7, 9, 3 or 2, 8? First of all, I don't think many of them can be 1, 7 or 9, 3. Because... We've placed all the ones and nines if we allow for these two as placed, these two pairs as placed. So we would need one of those digits on a hanging white dot that isn't resolved. And I don't think any of them are on hanging white dots. This one's going to become a, a seven white dot. We've assigned the value to that. Yeah. So any, any of the, we've still got to find all six dots assigned the value of six. And I think they're all going to be two eight pairs. And this one can't be a two eight pair because that cell is two or eight. Right, now where's my color? This one can be, that's one place. One of these two could be I'll put an X there between them. That will be the second. This one can't be because we can't put an 8 on it. One of these two can be a 2-8 pair. One of them in this box can be. I don't know how to mark that. I'm just going to put an X there for now. Obviously only one of the pairs, one of the white dots can have a 2-8 pair. This one no good. Ah, this one yes, that would work. Now we're trying to get up to six, and I haven't really approached column one yet. How far have we got? One, two, three, four, five. This one can't be, because we can't put an eight in row one, column three. So the sixth one is in column one somewhere. It can't be this dot, because you can't put two and eight in this box, and it can't be either of these, because you can't put two and eight in box four, because we've already got an eight, so it's there. Okay, we've found, well, we've, we've found general locations for most of these six sixes. One of them is here. One of them is definitely here. In fact, we can write in eight and two there. The other, oh, one of them is definitely here in column three as well. So we've got three of them in. Where we've put these big X's, well, in this cell, this is either, and in that one, these are both at the centre of the two possible dominoes. So it's either a 2-8 pair going north, in which case it's 8-2 looking down, or going east, in which case it's 8-2 looking that way. This one, ah, this one in the middle is a 2, because there's an 8 there, and one of those on either side is an 8. And down here... Okay, what in box 8 here, which of these cells can be a 2-8 pair? It can't be... I don't know. Okay, all I'm going to do for now is sort of write 2 and 8 amongst those cells. One of them is a 2-8 pair, and annoyingly I don't know which one. But let's do a bit of Sudoku, because now I've got a 4-5-6 triple. Look, I've got a naked single here. Wasn't expecting a naked single even at this point in the puzzle. But this one sees that four, five, six triple, sees one, two, nine, eight in its box and seven in its column. That is a three. This is a two, seven pair. And here's another of these found assigned values. That is clearly an assigned value of five, just as that's a four and one of these is a three. Now I am going to struggle to keep track of these numbers, aren't I? Oh, one of those being a two. Oh, look, I can just place two in this box by Sudoku. Ah, 
And that was on an X that was a 7X. So that's with a 9. So that gives us all of these digits. There we go. Brilliant. I'm going to mark up with orange 7, that one. And I've done all my oranges now. Now, has that told me which of these? It's told me that's not a 2. So the 2 in this box is in one of those cells. The 8 is not there. So that's not the 2, because it couldn't be next to an 8. Oh, there's an 8 in one of those cells, so that's not an 8. So now this digit is either 2 or 8. If it's 2, that's an 8. If it's 8, that's a 2. And that's an X-wing on 2s between those pairs. And that can't be a 2. So this is the 2 in box 5, and that's an 8. And now we can colour the blue X there. And we've placed 1, 2, 3, 4 of our 6 blue X6s. The other one is going to put an 8 well, the other two. One of them is going to put an 8 in one of those cells. And one of them is either a domino there or there. Wow. I mean, this is hard. Okay. I'm going to have to move on to fives, I think. We've got to find five places where we can have a five dot. It can't be black because none of the remaining black cells, which are there and there, can have a 1-5 pair on. So the five fives are white. What colour are we doing for fives? We're doing red for a bit of contrast, and we know that one of them was here in box two. So where are the others? One of them, this one, could be, could have a seven to the south. This one here no, we've only got three, four, five, and six to place in this column, and you can't get a difference of five there. Here, possibly. Okay, for now, I'm going to mark as possible places where I could get a white dot five. And that's one. This one isn't, I don't think think because the maximum and minimum for these this pair this domino in the top left corner is three and seven or four and seven actually and the same is true here with three and seven ah but this one could be a two seven pair this is tricky to get this so now i have marked up five x's already and there must be an opportunity for one more in box eight. So that's tricky. Um, or is it? No, it's not. Because look, these two cells, for either of these X's, these red X's to be justified, the digit would have to be a seven. And it can't be a seven in both cases, or that breaks the rules of Sudoku. So only one of those is a seven, and only one of these red X's is is genuinely right. So then we must have this one be right. That's the second. We know we've got that one. That's the third. This one must be right. That's the fourth. And there is... Ah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, what I wasn't allowing for is that two of these white dots might be five differences. Uh, that, that's not going to happen because one of them is a six difference. It's okay. It's okay. One of them is a six difference. For two of them to have five differences, one pair would be there and one pair would be there. Oh, well, maybe this could be two and eight here. If that was two and that was eight, this could be seven and that could be three. And that would be... Okay, it is possible. Bother. So even allowing for the fact that one of these only can give the required five difference, I have to then accept 
let's let's color the cells so those are possibles that's a possible this one's a definite this is a possible completion and we could have up to two here which is incredibly annoying because I'm going to have to do something cleverer with the numbers now. And my goodness, this is tough for me. Might have to do some Sudoku first. Oh, crikey, Mixo. You don't make it easy, do you? Oh, no, hang on. Three, four, five, six. What's that pair that's got a, relation, a ratio? It's got to be a three, six pair. Yes, that's definite. Okay. So this is a four, five pair left in the box. Well, that's interesting. What about this? This has to be an even number. It can't be eight, which is in one of those cells. So this is four or six forming a three, four, five, six quad. And this is a seven, eight pair. And we know the order. Eight there, seven there. So this is definitely one of the fives. We also get to place the eight and find the six, the um, orange X there. Good. Now. Okay, now I've, this is a two value, and this is two or three. That could be the last of the two assigned values. Well, hang on. These are from four, five, and seven. Now, I'm sure this is going to be a seven, but I haven't got proof. These are from four, five, and six. This difference is three, two, or one. That's not. Very interesting. Oh, this is an 8 by Sudoku. That's huge! Why haven't I not seen that? Okay, that's an 8 by Sudoku, so that's a 2. That's great. That's absolutely what I needed. So that gets an X. Now we can't make two of these dots into 7s. So now this one has to be a 7. I'm going to get rid of the orange. And so the 7s, sorry, the 5Xs are, there's definitely one there. There's one in one of those two positions. There's definitely one there. That's t two of them, definite. That's one, that's three. Then there's going to be one of these is four and one of these. So either we have a seven here or this pair has a five difference, but that's not possible between the numbers three and seven. So this is a seven. That's the red X there. That seven sorts out this cell as not potentially being a seven. And therefore this is not a red X. This is a genuine red X over here. This is definitely a seven. It doesn't need a color anymore. And we've done all of the sixes and all of the fives. In fact, yeah, we have. So we need a colour for fours next. I'm going to use yellow or gold here. There's one of them, the seven and three pair. Now, where else are we going for a four? I'll tell you where we're not going is here, where the maximum difference is three. We're not going to this black dot. We could go to this one. We could go to this one. We could go to this one. We can't do the one in box one. So I think we're complete on the fours. The three I've got highlighted and the one we've already accidentally done. No, there's this as well. Oh, bother. So threes that go with sevens or two and a six. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, they can't all be right. I'm going to have to go back and do a bit of Sudoku again because it was Sudoku that let me down over here with that eight. Ah, seven there is giving me two and seven here. Actually, I think that 
No, it doesn't finish off all the sevens in the grid because I still have to write one in there. But I think all the twos and sevens are done now. Those are from four, five, six, as is that. This is probably a three. Wow, I mean, everything that I've got to pencil mark now seems to be from three, four, five, or six. I think that's absolutely factual, basically. Right, <laughs> so somehow I have to find my four fours. Have I really got 10 left? 10 um, dominoes. Four fours, three threes, two twos, and one one. So let's not forget the ones I've found. So I've got a three here and a two here. That's two of the 10 that I still have to locate. There's one of them here. One there is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I knew I would get the count wrong. What am I missing? Where's there a dot that I've either already assigned and is one, two, three or four or that I can't find? Oh, bother. You see, the worrying thing about this is worth, you know, the accountant in me wants to reconcile this stuff. I now want to check, as mad as I am, that I've done nine nines, seven sevens, six sixes, and five fives. Let's do the more recent one. That was a five, that was a five, that was a five, that was a five, that was a five. Was a five. If it turns out, now that I've made a complete miscount from the beginning. This will be the saddest, stupidest video ever. I don't think I have. So that is one of my pair, pairs to go. And so is that, that's two of them. That's one there, three. That's one, four. That's one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there should be another one. Oh yes, there is, this seven and three, that is one of the 10. I've, I've X'd that already with the gold, right. Good, okay, well the count is correct. We still need to attribute. So I've attributed that as a four. Well, obviously this is a two, so, I don't know, if I color it light gray, does that even appear? Yeah, it does. That's a two. We've done a four and a two. Now I still need three more fours. And where am I saying they are possible? In all of these places. And I only need three of them. Okay, if this was a four, that would be a three and that forces that to be a three. So this one is effectively two of those. What does that mean? Nothing much to me. That can't be a three. This is, right, this is very tough at this point. Oh, that can't be a seven. Ah, the difference here is very small. It's either two or one. Well, that's interesting. That's very interesting. That is one of our assigned twos. This is either a two or a one. Obviously between ones and twos, there are only three such. So maybe I'm looking at ones that can be fours and threes or something. Wow, I am not sure how to resolve this. Oh, if that digit was a three, that would knock out that and that as possible places for fours. And we wouldn't have enough possible places for fours left. So that digit is not a three. This is now a four, five, six, triple, and this digit is a three. 
and that we have found one of our fours there, definitely. That's interesting. Now in three in this central box has to be in one of those positions and therefore this is a six and that's a three. This can't be a three anymore. Bit more Sudoku then. That's basically all that worked out as. We still have three places where we can put the two remaining fours. We've found The, yeah, one of those could, the, the remaining one could also be a three. This could be a three. And this definitely is a three. Is that all the fours and threes then between them? What other ones have we got? We've got that one in the top corner. We've got this three X. Oh, but this could also be a three down here with a two and a six. Ah, if that was two and a six, this couldn't be three and six. So there's only one three in this box. And therefore, the third item that is a one or a two is down here somewhere, along with that one and that one. Everything else is a four or a three. So this cell is not six or five. This is not six or five. We're looking at threes or fours only. Here we don't have three or four. That is five or six. The only place for three now in this box is there. And we're getting a little bit more traction on threes. We get the three in box six. Yeah, that was interesting. Now, if this is three, six, that's two, four. And then that's a five. If this is two, six, this has to have a difference. I was going to say it has to have a difference of two, but I don't know that. Right, one of those digits is a four, so that isn't. Now, down here, that being a three was going to make that a three, and that would be our two remaining fours. That would, f oh, look, I've got a six here. This is a five in the middle. Yes. And look, that is one of our threes, and that is exactly the information we wanted. What colour are my threes? I haven't even got a colour for threes. We'd better go green. I haven't used green for threes. There. So we've got one more three to find. But, 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 I need two more fours now, now that that's become a three. And they're both here. So those are threes. The four is the gold colour, and the fours are complete. Let me just check that. We've got one there, one there, one there, one there. All three sevens on white. The threes, we've now got this two five and that nine three. And the other one is going to be in this box. It's either two six there or three six here. So that's not a six in the corner. These aren't threes. That's not a six. These aren't threes. We're not going to get a three in the corner. Those aren't fives now. That is a five. Those aren't fives. That is a five. That's not a five. Ah, this puzzle. Have you noticed it's got dark outside while I've been doing this? You can see through the edges of the blinds. Um, yeah, I said it wouldn't be done in 45 minutes. The video's about 45 minutes now. I was right, but not far off the pace. Now, one of these is a three and one of them isn't. Three six there and four there puts five in the corner. Two six there. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's a four six pair in the column. So that's a five and that isn't. Just footling around now before I have to kind of work something out. So I've got that two. I need from from this area and these two. I need a one, a two, and a three as my assigned values. 
Oh, that's not a three. So there's definitely a three on this dot. Hmm, I don't know what that means. Just, let's just stay calm, take a beat. Don't get angry with me. That's not a three. This is the last three in the grid. <laughs> now, this could be the one, as well as being the two or the three of these yellow pairs. I'm looking for one, 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 two, and one, three. Wow, this is difficult. If this was the three, that's the two. then that has to have a five in, which is fine because that's also a five. So if this is the three, the trouble is that leaves all the options open or does it? I think it does. It's probably just Sudoku staring me in the face now. Um, sorry. One of those is a six. Okay, it's, it's quite difficult for this to be a two. This would have to be a four six pair to be a two. And that would be a five. This would be a four. That would be a six, and this would be a five, and that would be a second two. I'm only allowed one more two because I've used a two there. So this is not a two. This is the one. I don't know what colour that's going to get. It's going to get black. I can afford black, actually. So that is black. And there is a five in one of those cells, as that is the one. Down here, this is not a one now on this dot. That is a two or a three, and that is a two or a three. If this is a two, that's five, and that's six, and that's four. If this is three, that's six, and that's four, and that's five. Okay, I don't know how that's gonna work out yet. I'm hoping to do this by Sudoku. I'm not sure I've got the wherewithal, but anyway, that is no longer a five. We've got the one. There is a five on one of these, come on. Come on, one of those is a five. I just, this is annoying because there must be one way round. So I'm left with a two and a three between these. So if that's a five, that's a four. Let's see what happens to fours in the puzzle. We get one there, one there, one in the corner, one there, one there, one there and one there. That seems to work for fours. Okay, but alternatively, this black dot is the two dot and that's a four. Then what happens to fours? This white dot becomes the three dot. So we've got a five in the corner. How on earth does this resolve now? Maybe I have to think about fives instead. So it seemed to work with that being a four, which makes this a five. What happens if this is a five? Okay, oh, well that, oh, I've got this five looking at that cell. That's what's going on. This is a five, it's just Sudoku. Sorry, but I don't really mind because this, this has been a bit of a brain fryer and I'm just delighted to be getting somewhere now. That's a five, four pair up there, okay. Now, this must sort it out. That four has made this a six and that a five. I'm getting rid of all the yellow colouring now. Uh, you can see me doing that. Then I'm going back to the pen tool and making this a two, which is the grey X there. And 
this one is the three, which is a green X, just to complete all of the, it's hard to tell that's green, but it is. And that has done all the assigning. And now I'm just doing Sudoku. And now that I found the last bit of Sudoku that was very straightforward, I'm hugely relieved. That's a four, that's a five, that's a six. Then we can do five and four. Look at that. I'm delighted to get through that puzzle. Um, a little bit fiddly, to be fair, with all the counting of how many of the X's had been assigned, but a remarkably clever idea. And frankly, a wonderful construction. You know, there were no given digits in that puzzle. Let's just take, give time to give a little hand to Mixo. That is a fantastic piece of work. And I, I am absolutely delighted to have got through it. Very clever stuff. And thank you, as always, for spending your time with us on Cracking the Cryptic. We, we value it more highly than you would actually guess. Hope to see you again soon. Um, you wonderful community, you. See you soon. Bye for now.